Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. During this Ramadan season, as Muslims all over the world are fasting, Bimpo Yibadi took out the time to reach out to the less privileged and some of our colleagues. Bimpo grew up in a Christian home, but then she got married to the actor Latifa Didmeji, who is a practicing Muslim. She was given an Islamic name on their wedding day. She was given Rama, so she became Rama. I did the image. You do not know if she has fully converted, but she has been dressing up like an Elijah and celebrating Fridays on our official social media platform. And the star actress took to our official social media platform to share how she's reaching out to people during this season. According to her, this is a season to share love. In the short clip she shared, she was seen handing out packs of free crown milk to people in traffic who were hawking their goods. And she also went visiting some of her colleagues and handing them this pack of tree crown milk. And in her caption, she wrote Ramadan is here and very excited. This is a season to share love and to essentially stay healthy and nourished. I share amongst my family, friends, and my community my favorite milk, the tree crown milk, as well as basket of fruits, Ramadan Karim. And of course, the actress went ahead to thank Three Crown Milk for making this possible for her. The actress had an Ikai wedding ceremony with the star actor Latif on December 21st in 2021, just last year. So this period of fasting, Bimpe is going all around to share gifts with everyone, including the less privileged and our colleagues, wishing them all Ramadan Karim. For other news on Bimpe Ibadi, Please stay with us. Barely three months after their star-studded wedding ceremony, Bimbe gave an update to the current state of her marriage. This was during an Instagram question and answer session, and she was questioned on how many years she had been dating Latif before they finally got married. Many people had been speculating that these two had been dating for a long time even when she repeatedly debunked it that they were just friends. But responding to the question, Big Bay said they only dated for a few months. Another fan also questioned her about her marriage and she responded saying it has been sweet with a video of Latif spanking her backside jokingly. Also in another news, Big Bay reacted to critics over her alleged pregnancy before their marriage. Before they got married, it was all over social media platforms that it was because she got pregnant so the actor Latif was forced to step up and finally tie the knot with her. However, it's been months after their wedding ceremony and she has been dressing up and showing off her tummy and debunking the news that she was pregnant before they got married. It was also during an Instagram question and answer session and a fan asked her on how she reacted to the news of her being pregnant. Uh, this was exactly how the fan asked. Cece, how do you feel when those trolls were saying you got married because you're pregnant? And she had said, trolls slash bullies do not have a life. Too blessed to be stressed about them. Also at the end of 2021, Bing Pei recounted her 2021 experience. And she stated that she never saw getting married to Latif coming at all. In a word, the plan was always to be happy, to do me regardless, and live above inhibitions. But I wasn't prepared for the twist. I prayed for the wind, and then I saw a hurricane. I prayed for the sun, and before I knew it, there was a wildfire. I didn't even know what to believe. So there was all my life, and that one time, there were people's projects, and trust me to give my all. There were stories on blogs, and I didn't even know how to react. But I started the year 2021, as Miss Ogibade, and I ended the year as Miss Ogibade Dimitri. Believe me, I didn't see that coming. Sometimes in March, it became clear to me that my best friend wanted more. Dude was relentless. He knew what he wanted, and as childish as I was, he was patient. It was a no-brainer. I gave love a chance, and today, I'm happy for it. Also, this actress is one of the thespians which lead to a new scandal. In fact, the controversy she has been involved in are basically all around her relationship with Latif. In an interview in 2021, this was in an interview with Saturday Beats, 
she stated clearly that she does not need scandals or controversies to make her popular as she does not believe that any publicity is good publicity. In her words, I don't think scandals or controversies make an actor more popular. I believe that bad publicity is bad. I hear people say no publicity is bad. Any publicity is good for a public figure. I don't agree with such claims. Because of my upbringing, I don't like having a bad name. I feel that my career can give me enough publicity, so I don't need controversies again. I just want people to keep identifying me for my talent and work. I tell some of my colleagues and said that although I know some people like it, controversies, I know it works for them. Some people don't even feature in movies anymore, but they have a lot of followership. Trust me, these things also have negative effects. Some fans think we celebrities don't deserve our private lives, but we do. Acting is just like any other profession, it's a job. Even though we're in the public space, when we say we want to have our private time, our fans should understand and respect that. But some fans don't want to hear or accept that word. I got so many messages after a comment I made about a post on your Fabi, and it is funny. People think that celebrities are super humans, but that is far from the truth. Sometimes we don't want to publicize everything about our lives. Some fans want to take photos everywhere they see us, and it is expected. I cannot be rude to my fans, so I handle my dealings with them with maturity. And that day, she also addressed the rumored relationship between herself and Latif. Remember, this was in 2021, before they got married. And she stated, I don't like drama and I try my best to stay far from it. In fact, when I talk too much, it is a problem for me. I also shy away from interviews, but it's one of the things that my profession demands. Also, there is this trending issue of sex for rules. And Bimpo was asked about this in an interview. And she had this to say about sex for rules. When people say, oh, the industry is this, the industry is that, I feel like it happens everywhere. The reason we talk about the industry is because we're in the public space, so people can talk. Because even when I was in school, my lecturer wanted to sleep with me. As a student, my own project supervisor wanted to sleep with me. So when I was coming into the industry, I wasn't even expecting less. Because as a woman, even if you're ugly, men will still get attracted to you. So I feel that the problem of sex or rules is not the fault of men alone. I blame the women more because we encourage it. See, let me be honest with you. The reason I'm saying this is because we already know how men are. Sorry to say this, but men can be stupid sometimes. So they ask stupid things. And they feel like they can approach you with anything and you know, thinking they have the right to do this or do that with you. So I feel like women do not really appreciate or know their worth. If you're sleeping with men for rules, you're encouraging them. That is the reason it is still happening in the industry. And these are some of the other news on Bim Bimbo We have come to the end of this episode. Where Bim Bimbo goes all out to celebrate the less privileged and some of our colleagues. He's wishing all Muslim faithfuls Ramadan Karim.